So I decided to remake Slenderman with RTX graphics using Unreal Engine 5, and here's how I did it. But first, let's go back to where it all started. In 2012, the entire internet was playing a game called Slender the Eight Pages. With some of today's biggest YouTubers making a name for themselves with their Let's Plays, the game quickly rose to popularity. But just as fast as the trend grew, it quickly fell, soon to be forgotten. That is, until today. See, I can't just sit here while Slenderman's all sad and depressed. And I don't know if you guys have seen him recently, but he's not really looking too slender anymore. So the plan is to make an entire game so we can whip him back into shape and get him scaring people just like the good old days. So for those of you who have never played the game, the objective is to run around the map collecting pages while being chased by Slenderman, who's an extremely lanky, tall, pale guy with weird long arms who only comes out at night and alright I'm just describing myself at this point. So I started off by making a simple first person character controller with sprinting and interacting. So now we can run around the level and if we walk up to a page we can collect it. For the flashlight I used a simple flip flop node in order to switch between on and off. So for the sake of development we're going to use a cube in place of slender man. So if we just scale him up here now we have a slender cube but he's not really looking too scary. So I drew up a scary face in Photoshop and it seemed to have done the trick. Whoa. Whoa! What the hell is that? <laughs> so for the mechanics of the Slenderman AI, not much is really known. So after doing some research on different blogs, I was able to figure out the following. Slenderman will spawn after you collect the first page, sometimes spawn directly behind you when you turn around or walk into certain areas, become faster every time you collect a page, and f*** you up if you get too close. So the first thing I did was make it so that if the player collects a page, a few moments later, Slenderman will spawn somewhere around the player. I also set up some trigger boxes for jump scares in certain areas. So if the player steps into the trigger box, it'll shoot out a big long ray to check whether Slenderman should spawn or not. And now, it wouldn't be Slenderman without jump scares. <laughs> So by making a blueprint that tracks the player's rotation, I was able to make this jump scare. So now we need to add static. So if the player turns around and sees Slenderman, his screen should start playing static on it. So after putting together this giant blob of spaghetti, the player's screen now plays static when he looks at Slenderman and then stops playing when he looks away. So for the last part of the AI, I just made it so that if the player gets too close to Slenderman, he'll turn around and it'll be game over. So now obviously we have to replace this Slenderman model because right now it's literally just a cube with a face texture on it. So I found this PBR model on Sketchfab and luckily it was completely free to download which is awesome. So if we import him into the game he's in a T-pose but if we look at the actual game he's not in a T-pose he's in more of an M-pose or something like that I don't know. So I imported the model into Mixamo to try and find a nice walk animation. Alright, it looks like Slenderman is trying to fix those chicken legs. Yeah, that's probably not gonna work. Mm, probably not gonna work either. Yeah, no, that's that's just bad. So I finally came across this nice walk animation. We're gonna go with this one. So now that the game mechanics are done, we need to make a map with notes randomly spawned around it. So I started off by overlaying the map texture on top of the terrain and just painting the paths around. I found some models using the Quixel Megascans library with 8K texture resolution and started adding them around the map in the different locations. And then I also added grass on the grass portion of the terrain and trees around the map too. So to finish the map off, I added trigger boxes around the map in different areas. I also spawned pages around using a page spawner blueprint. And now we have this, but we need to make it nighttime now. So after playing around with the lighting system, I was able to get a nice night scene with some stars in the sky like this. And now it's starting to look pretty good. So right now the pages are blank, so I went in Photoshop and made some designs for the pages so now you can actually read what's going on in the game. 
For finishing touch, I use Lumen. So this is a scene without Lumen. And then this is the same exact scene with Lumen. So the difference is pretty insane. So now there's one more thing that we're missing that basically every single AAA game has that we don't. A main menu. So I quickly made one and now the game seems to be done. So now before we get into some gameplay, only 0.7% of the people who watch my videos are actually subscribed. 0.7%, which is kind of depressing. So if you have enjoyed the video so far, consider liking and subscribing. And with that being said, let's get into some gameplay. And make sure to stick around until the end of the video to see how you can play this game too. Alright, let's start the game up here. Alright, let's see if we can find their first page here. Alright, perfect. Found the first one. On her back's right there. Okay, never mind. Um, okay, here we go. Now let's go towards this. What in the world? Alright. It's getting really hard to see with this fog, but I can see him. Okay, these rocks here. Let's see what anything's over here. There we go. Six pages. He should be right on our backs. Yep. All right, now we just got to run. I really hope this last page is not in that building, because if it is, then it's game over. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, okay. That is not good. And, yep, he got us. All right, guys, I had a lot of nostalgia playing that game again. So if you guys want to try it out for yourself, you can download it on itch.io for free. Link in the description.